A for sale 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car and fire it up and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 77 Trans Am, uh, the right year for the Trans Am, finished in the right color, which is original to the car. It was a starlight black car to begin with. Uh, it would have come with black interior. Now it's been changed to red interior, and I love how they put the red bird on there with the other red decals. Compliments it very nicely. Um, did something different than the black with the gold, which is cool to see. Um, I have the PHS docks for it. It was sold new in Alabama, and I got a lot of information on it. You know, I'll tell you more about it as I go around it. I'm kind of fighting clowns, clouds that look a little menacing today, so I want to get this out as quickly and get, still be thorough. Um, you know, go around it, point out anything that I see, we'll fire it up and drive it. Uh, so we'll start here right in the nose section. You see a couple little, you know, like a couple minor blemishes on it here. No checking on it though, which is nice. Little guy right there. I mean, you see a couple on, on the bezel, bezel, a couple little marks there, a little touch up there. Um, you see a little line right there, but the fitment down the side is nice there. A couple little faint, see it's already coming down. A couple little faint bubbles right there. Uh, nice here, there's a little line, but this fits up nice. And uh, good looking bird. Uh, it's been changed to a, let, let me show you, let me show you. I'm gonna pop the hood real quick. has been changed from the original Z code 400 motor which is what the car came with to a 74 455 motor uh, the AC system has got been completely gone through in fact recently and I have four bottles of the R13A or something like that that are new and good to go with the car for you uh, power steering power front disc brakes cr cruise my camera's getting blurry cruise uh, nice finish here on the metal all the way up there you see a little stamping on the inner fender well which is nice to see let me see here yeah there's the stamping right there i missed it i was looking too far forward go to this side i mean again and i love how they finished it that it looks like it should be in the car they didn't just slap it in and leave stuff out if that makes sense you know it's got the right uh shaker on top the AC hooks up perfectly. The, all, all the, everything looks like the motor belongs in the car, which I, I love that little attention to detail, even as far as connecting what I call the snorkel in. Um, nice in here, you see a little stamping down in there as well. And your trim tag is in place. I took a picture of that WS4 black, uh, 19U paint. This is a little, a little smudge here from my hand before. Oh, uh, you see like a couple little marks right there. That looks pretty nice. You still see the smudge from my hand before. Uh, snowflakes on there. Always a nice look. Exactly what you want on the car. Uh, it's a rust-free car. There's no bubbles anywhere on the car. You see a couple touch-ups right on this door edge there. When you get down low, looks very nice. You see some stone chips out on that. I mean, that, that's pretty much what it's there for. The windshield very nice condition uh, there's just a couple small cracks in the dash pad that you see proper vent is in place little mark right there oh no that came right off that came right off not a mark you see a couple like stone chips on the edge there or door ch edge chips you see a little indent right there and for whatever reason you kind of see just like a little bit of that in the paint in this section there. Uh, not really anywhere else. You go up a little bit, you see you see a little bit more of it. Now there, we're just getting a little bit of mist here. So again, I want to knock it out. You see a little indent right there. A couple more on top of the car. Uh, all the lights work. Uh, your power windows go up very nicely. Here in the door jam, you still got an original uh, sticker in there, which is nice to see. Uh, very nice door panel here. Looks very nice. Again, nice finish in the door jam. All the way up. Uh, your front bucket seats are fantastic. And uh, I love the color of them. They got like a little 
like a little, uh, they don't just look one color. Like a, I don't know how to word it. It matches perfectly. I mean, it's fantastic. I, I don't know what you would call that. Yeah, but you, you probably know. Um, you get in here. Uh, carpet's nice. A little bit of marks down where your feet are. I have carpet mats that I'm going to include with it uh, that are Trans Am carpet mats. Steering wheel's nice. little bit of patina there, but very, very nice still with factory gauges. You don't want to see aftermarket gauges in it. Nice there. Um, horn works. It's got a Kenwood radio in it. That's nice. Console looks pretty nice. See the power window switches. You see like a couple chips on the console down there. All right. I'll fold this forward for you. Wants me to do that. Nice seat back there. Still won't let me zoom out for some reason. Come on. Back up a little bit. Nice seat back. Door panel's nice. Nice. Headliner's very, very nice. That you see there working dome light. Up there is nice. Uh, all the fitment around is pretty nice. You see this door just sticks out just a little bit. Just a little bit out from being uh, like right, right perfect. Uh, in here, in this section. I mean, there's no rust down here. No bubbles down there. Just a little bit of like rubber residue. Maybe they like to burn the tires a little bit. Because it does have uh, a lot more power than the 400 had. A couple little things here on the back. I like how they finished it with the 455 logo there. Uh, the reverse lights actually work. This lines up perfect. See there? This looks very nice as well. Nice back there, nice back window. I didn't really mention it. All the trim all the way around pretty much looks like this. Pretty nice condition. So let me go ahead and open the trunk. Spare, nice mat. PHS docks. Uh, was in uh, Fort Payne, Alabama. Uh, there's your options, whatnot. AC, cruise control, uh, power windows, tilt steering wheel. I didn't mention that, but it has it. And 6.6 uh, .6 liter, 400. So it was. It, it is a Z code car. Uh, your Starlight Black exterior, ID stuff, all this other. I don't want to say kind of not important, but I would say. This is the most important, of course. It is very nice quality map, by the way. Look how thick that is. The trunk pan is very nice. Very nice, original. Uh, the quarters are original. I will show you this, but I got the tire there. Nice in there as well. Uh, nice weather stripping in here. Pretty nice finish in there. You see like your factory markings that Pontiac would do. nice under there as well. Uh, I got the key, yep. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think the, the mist stopped coming down, so I bought myself a little bit more time. Again, no bubbles. Let me point it out. No bubbles down there. No bubbles anywhere there or on the other side. Um, in here some uh, stone chip abuse because it juts out it makes sense i like the fitment here on the door let's get a little lower there so you see it you saw a couple little like stone chips in that section there but that's nice all the way there i haven't shown you the body really and it is straight This door panel is also very nice. Just a little bit of chipping on this, the red down there. 
Very nice condition seat. Again, I love the color on that. It will be for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Let me know. 77 Trans Am finished in correct starlight black with a red interior now. Uh, 455 automatic. Uh, I think it has its original rear end in it because it still has the tag on the back. Power steering, power front disc brakes, power windows. It was originally a cruise control car. I mean, it's all still in place. I just, like I said, I don't believe it functions right now. I'll, I'll confirm it. A um, couple little marks right there. And then it looks like, well, that came off. A couple stone chips down here. We are getting to that point where we will fire it up and then drive it. Thank you. Oh, I like the hood insulation as well. I don't know if I showed that. Okay. Oh, also, and it sounds fantastic, too. 